Good evening and thanks for joining us again. There are quite some numbers in this package, but the cardinal number is 614. That's how long the Ajaokusa Kaduna Kano AKK gas pipeline project traverses. Now along this vast length across states and communities, one can visualize and imagine the awesome impact that will happen to power, gas-based industry feedstock, employment, industry revival and development, industrialization, security, local content and manufacturing, etc. To so, Mr. President, it's the fulfillment of economic prosperity part of the next level agenda for Nigeria. To so, the Honorable Minister of State Petroleum, it is transformational. All the different parts of this story are put together in our package just so you can make more sense, more meaning, and more understanding of the story. Welcome to the details. My name is Akin Agbujile. This is Oil and Gas Forum. My debt of gratitude goes to President Mohamed Buhari, whose initiative brought the Nigerian oil and gas sector ably led by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and Seplat, who graciously agreed to erect this befitting medical edifice. Let's take responsibility to stop the spread of the virus. Wash your hands frequently with soap under running water for about 20 seconds or use a hand sanitizer where water and soap are not available. Cough or sneeze into a tissue and dispose properly. Or cough or sneeze into your elbow. Avoid large gatherings. Keep physical contact to no less than 2 meters and wear a mask whenever you are in a public space. Clean all surfaces frequently with disinfect and if you develop symptoms like frequent cough, sneezing, fever or shortage of breath, call your state emergency number or NCDC's toll-free number on 0800 97 00 0010. Take responsibility. Do it for yourself and the rest of us. This message is brought to you by the NCDC and funded by the NNPC IPPG team, an association of indigenous oil and gas producing companies. The group managing director of the NNPC, Mala Melekeri, has said that the flag up of the 614-kilometer Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK gas pipeline would not have been possible without the full and unflinching support of His Excellency, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari, since assumption of office, has reinforced investment in gas infrastructure, which sooner than expected would boost domestic utilization of natural gas. One of such is the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano gas pipeline which is a section of the Trans-Nigeria Gas Pipeline, TNGP, with a capacity to transport about 2.2 billion cubic feet of gas per day. President Buhari said the delivery of the 614-kilometer Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano AKK Gas Pipeline project is part of his administration's next level agenda for sustainable development and economic prosperity of Nigeria. When completed, the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano Gas Pipeline project will provide gas for generation of power and for gas-based industries, which would facilitate the development of new industries and also the revival of moribund industries along transit towns in Kogi State, FCT Abuja, Niger State, Kaduna State, and Kanu State. He noted that harnessing and commercializing the nation's vast gas reserves was an enabler for rapid economic development and diversification of the economy, saying that this remained a cardinal objective of his administration to work and ensure a stable, sustainable and more prosperous future for the citizenry. This landmark project is being developed at a critical time in Nigeria's commitment to increasing our infrastructure assets. 
we promised the nation that we will expand the critical gas infrastructure in the country to promote the use of gas in the domestic market. The president called on the governors of Kugi, Niger, Kaduna and Kano states, as well as the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, to provide the enabling environment and support for the project. The Engineering Procurement and Construction Contract EPC of the project, which was awarded by the Federal Executive Council in 2017, had a completion period of 24 months and effect liability period of 12 months. The AKK Gas Project is a component of the Nigerian Gas Master Plan, a gas infrastructure blueprint which was approved by the Federal Executive Council in 2008, but which has received serious attention of the Buhari administration, leading to the flag off of the project. The other major domestic gas transmission systems are the Western System, that is the existing 36-inch Excravos Lagos Pipeline 1 and 2, with 2.2 billion cubic feet of gas per day capacity, and the ongoing east-west connection via the OBF will become Oben Pipeline OB3, featuring 2.4 billion cubic feet of gas per day capacity. The Senate Committee Chairman on Petroleum Upstream, Senator Basi Albert Ahmad, said the AKK project would go a long way in improving the standard of living of Nigerians. I have confidence in the military because he has also briefed us on the activities in getting gas into, the, into this, uh, this pipeline. So we are not only building a pipeline, we are also be, uh, developing the gas to make sure that uh, the pipeline would be well and uh, thoroughly fed for the good of all uh, humanity and, and the country as a whole. Speaking on the significance of the AKK project, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Presilva, said the project would open up a development corridor linking the north to the southern part of the country, stressing that the AKK project would serve as a backbone for several investment opportunities. So this now is a development corridor, a development backbone. We expect that along that corridor, all kinds of uh, investments will now commence. We are expecting fertilizer projects, gas-based industries, uh, like petrochemicals, uh, power plants, and so on. The AKK project, when completed, offers enormous economic and social benefits to the nation. It will unlock 2.2 billion cubic feet of gas to the domestic market, support the addition of 3,600 megawatts of power to the national grid, and revitalize textile industries, which alone boast of over 3 million jobs in parts of the country. In addition, the AKK project will support the development of petrochemicals, fertilizer, methanol, and other gas-based industries that will generate employment opportunities and facilitate balanced economic growth. On his part, the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir El Rufai, thanked the NNPC, Ministry of Petroleum Resources, and other stakeholders for ensuring the flag up of the project, stressing that there was high hope because of the enormous benefits the project would bring to the state. We are very, very, very appreciative of the GMD NNPC who worked very hard under the able leadership of the Honorable Minister of State Petroleum Resources, my brother, His Excellency Dimitri Silva, for making this a reality. But of great joy to me personally, the fact that the, the company constructing this has a Kaduna State citizen as chairman. In his remarks, Governor of Kogi State Al Haji Yahya Bello, who expressed gratitude to God for witnessing the flag up of the construction phase of the AKK project, said his administration had sponsored many youths in the state to acquire skills in welding and urged the contractors to gainfully engage them. We train several youths to ensure that they can work and do some other allied uh, industrial work. This is going to gainfully, you know, uh, be beneficial to them. Also, you cannot talk of industrial revolution without power. And this is exactly where Mr. President is here to us. In his welcome address at the flag of the group managing director of the NNPC, Mala Mele Kiari, said that President Muhammadu Bori has made it a priority to ensure that revenues from oil and gas resources are utilized to support the emergence and growth of other non-oil sectors of the economy. 
to this event wouldn't have been possible without the full and unpleasing support of Your Excellency. That the current administration under the leadership, your leadership has made it a priority to ensure revenues from oil and gas resources are utilized to support the emergence and growth of oil and oil sector by building massive infrastructure. He explained that the EPC contract for the 614-kilometer AKK gas pipeline project was awarded at a total contract sum of $2.592 billion to Mrs. OilSef PLC Stroke China First Highway Engineering Company, OilSef Stroke CFHEC Consortium, for the first segment covering 303 kilometers and Mrs. Brentex Petroleum Services China Petroleum Pipeline Bureau Brentex CPP Consortium for the second segment covering 311 kilometers under a debt equity financing model with loan from Bank of China and Sinojo to be repaid through the pipeline transmission tariff and supported by a sovereign guarantee. On his part, the managing director of Oil Serve, engineer Emeka Okwosa, said the AKK project would further boost the gas infrastructure network in the country. When you pipe this gas, you have gas flowing through, will go to industries, go to power plants. There are tariffs to be paid to even transport this gas. If you, if you understand the mechanism of uh, gas transportation, for every cubic meter of gas that passes by, there is an amount that is paid by those who use it. Also for the Brentex CPP Consortium, Mr. Sani Nuhu Abubakar, who is the Vice Chairman of Brentex Petroleum Limited, reportedly said the consortium would rely mainly on the acclaimed pedigree and global expertise of CPP in pipeline construction to deliver a world-class project. We have laid together over 125,000 kilometers of pipeline all over the world, in all manner of terrain, applying various sizes of uh, pipes. For the Zaria Emirate Traditional Council, the AKK is a socio-economic game-changer. The essence of this project uh, is to aid the industrial development in our area, or in Nigeria in particular. If you can see, a lot of industries are dead. But with this gas project, everything will spring back. Then we will have more economic activity, more development. The Buhari administration will ever be remembered for taking the practical step to ensuring energy security for the country by consolidating Nigeria's aspiration to have a national energy mix that works for the country and the entire citizenry. Similarly, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Management Team, led by Mala Melikiari, which, which rapidly progressed preparatory works on the project leading to the flag of ceremony, also deserves commendation. Nigerians are hopeful that this efficient machine of a team would also galvanize speedily development in other subsectors of the industry to enable the country to derive maximum benefits from the nation's hydrocarbon resources. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has called on members of the public to discountenance reports of a possible fire outbreak from a vandalized point on its pipeline at Aboru Canal in Alimosho local government area of Lagos State, saying that there is no such hazard as the line in question has since been shut down for repairs and presently contains only water. The corporation explained that the Atlas Cove Mosimi stretch of the System 2B pipeline was shut down on June 25, 2020 to enable comprehensive maintenance of some segments of the pipeline. The NNPC said the repair work was on the last stage of completion, which involves hydro testing, a process of pumping of water through the entire pipeline for integrity tests and leak detection to ascertain availability of the pipeline for pumping products. Hello, glad to have you join us again on this feedback segment of the program. My name is Faith Ayuba. President Muhammad Buhari flagged off the construction phase of the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK pipeline project on 30th June 2020. The AKK pipeline project, upon completion, will provide gas for generation of power, feedstocks for gas based industries, 
facilitates the revival of Moribon industries and the development of new industries along the transit towns in Kogi, Federal Capital Territory, Niger, Kaduna and Kano states. We bring to your viewing delight comments by Nigerians on how the project will impact the economy. AKK is an enabler for the modern axis. And uh, by the way, the AKK we are talking about uh, is a subset of the Trans-Nigerian Gas Pipeline System. The Trans-Nigerian Gas Pipeline System encompasses other pipeline systems that are required to be built. Some of them are already ongoing, some of them are completed. So that is uh, what AKK is all about. This is what we want to see, not only in the oil and gas sector, but in every other sector of the Nigerian economy. That's why in the House of Representatives today, we are amending the Local Content Act, and we are also creating a new law that will expand local content outside the shores of the oil and gas sector to every other sector of the Nigerian economy. Look forward to working on this AKK project, and today I am part of the project. I think it's a dream come true. We are going to spur industrialization along the pipeline, um, gas pipeline routes, corridors. I, I think it makes it easier for people to conceptualize and actually locate industries that will be fueled and fired by cleaner energy, sustainable energy, cheaper energy. Gas pipeline projects will help to boost domestic gas supply in the country and even consumption. It will also help to create employment. It will help to boost power generation in the country and you know how important that is to our economy. And ultimately, it will also help to boost revenue generation in the country. Who has started benefiting right from the starting? They are, they are giving work to indigents. Then some, maybe some supply, then and so on. We give God the glory. We thank God for what people have created for us with our youth and others that they are working. It make us to be happy. And those that sell here, yeah, you give them joy. So I want to say may God bless them. Interesting. The AKK gas pipeline project will support the development of petrochemical, fertilizer, methanol and other gas-based industries. Add 3,600 megawatts of power to the national grid and create over 1 million jobs. And that's it on this segment. Don't go away. Hello, glad to have you join us on this segment of the program. My name is Abigail Ojobo. Did you know that the Gawal oil field in Al Asar Governorate, Eastern Province of Saudi Arabia, is ranked the largest onshore oil field in the world, holding about 50 billion barrels of oil with daily production of about 3.8 million barrels? Did you know that the Safania field, located in the Persian Gulf, is ranked the world's largest offshore oil field with over 60 billion barrels of oil? The Port Hathor refinery in Texas has the capacity to process 600,000 barrels of crude oil per day and ranked as the biggest refinery in the United States. Did you also know that Port Hathor refinery is 100% owned by Saudi Aramco? Saudi Arabia's national oil company? I hope you learned something. Please don't go away. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil prices rose reversing earlier losses as the sharp drop in oil stockpiles outweighed concerns that a spike in United States coronavirus infections and revived lockdown measures in California could stall a recovery in fuel demand. Brent crude futures was up 25 cents or 0.6 percent at $42.28 per barrel after rising 1.8 percent in the previous session. 
United States West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures rose 25 cents or 0.6 percent to $40.07 per barrel, adding to a 1.4 percent rise. United States Energy Information Administration data showed United States crude inventories fell 7.2 million barrels from a record high last week, far more than analysts had expected as refiners ramped up production and imports eased. Analysts said the drop in stockpiles reports of oil moving out of floating storage and strong manufacturing PMI data across the globe formed a constructive case for oil prices rising. Capping gains, however, analysts also noted that gasoline stockpiles were higher despite expectations of a fall. The EIA data showed that gasoline imports hit the highest level since last August and peaked the most on a seasonal basis in nine years. Meanwhile, market intelligence department of the NNPC London office daily report said oil prices started the second half of the year by testing a push into a higher orbit, but the front month Brent contract remained settling in the upper echelons of the $38 to $43 trading band that was established in June after the COVID-19 turmoil. Trading volumes remain subdued across the energy complex and particularly in oil features contracts as September Brent on ice features flew to a close of $42.03 per barrel in London, a gain of $0.76. Cents. London brokerage PVM noted the drama and volatility have become the norm in the COVID-19 era. And that's it on this segment of the program. I am Owigo Okolo. I congratulate the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, NNPC, and all relevant stakeholders on this historic and epoch-making occasion. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the resilience of the team to deliver on this project is commendable. I also urge all the stakeholders to continue providing the required support so that this landmark project can be actualized within the approved budget and schedule. The flag off of the AKK pipeline project took several years of waiting and planning and happening at this time is not an accident. It falls within an epochal 365 days in the life of the NNPC where many monumental feats have been recorded and many unexpected challenges have been engaged and contained along a vision of transparency, accountability and performance excellence. July 8 is around the corner when a year would have gone full circle for Mele Kolo Kiari as NNPC's GMD. And what a year it had been. Enjoy your week.